Hello, in this lesson, I want you to determine the number and types of roots of polynomial equations. I want you to find the zeros of a polynomial function. The first thing I want you to notice is we have some vocabulary words that are very similar depending on what you're given. Zeros, factors, roots, and intercepts. They're all the same number. It's just how you use them. A zero goes with a function. So you have a zero of a function. If you're, if you're looking at an equation, that's a root or a solution. If I'm just factoring the polynomial, then that's a factor. And then if I look at the graph of it, that's x-intercept. So x-intercept and zeros, they mean the same thing. Now, if we take a look at this, the fundamental theorem of algebra says this. If I look at the exponent, it tells me how many roots or zeros I'll have. It doesn't tell me the kind, but it tells me how many we're going to have total. So if I look at example one here, I've got x squared plus 6x plus 9. That tells me I'm going to have two roots. Well, let's find those two roots here. Now, I, can, I notice I can factor this. So this is x plus 3 squared equals 0. Well, remember, x plus 3 squared means x plus 3 times x plus 3. I think I'm going to write that down for this case so you can see the roots. So then I say x plus 3 equals 0 or x plus 3 equals 0. Well, I minus 3 from both sides. And x equals negative 3 in both cases, doesn't it? This is what we call a double root because it happens twice. So I'm going to say I have 1 real, because negative 3 is a real number, 1 real double root. Since I have, a, since I have 2 roots, but they're the same, so we call that a double root. Let's apply that to the next example. If I look at example 2 now, notice my biggest exponent is 3, so I'm going to have up to 3 solutions. Well, let's factor this. I notice there's an x in both of these, so I'm going to go x times x squared plus 25 equals 0. Well, I can, I can factor that. Well, I can use my zero product property. I'm going to say, oh, x equals 0. That's my first root. Now, let's do the second root. So x squared plus 25 equals 0. So then I'm going to minus 25 from both sides. And we get x squared equals negative 25. Take the square root of both sides. x equals plus or minus 5i. So I have a total of three roots. One of them is real, because x equals 0, so I have one real root. And I have two imaginary roots. Plus or minus 5i are my imaginary numbers. And there we have it.